senior champion has 400 metres to go. Can he do it? Can he keep it going? He's ahead of the green lights at the moment. Another 63, but 63.8. He's getting tired. But he's flying the flag brilliantly for Uganda. He comes from the Sabini tribe, who traditionally have a low standing in Ugandan culture. But he's rewriting what's possible in his country. He's a shining example of all that is possible with determination. He's a slight man, but he's big in personality, big in talent and big in ambition. This has been absolutely incredible here. Coming round. He's just got to keep driving. Kenanita Bekele's time, 26.17. We've seen one world record. I think we might be about to see another. This has been absolutely fantastic. The hairs on the back of my neck are standing to attention. It's a standing ovation from everyone here. He has roared with the heart of an African lion. He's delivered. It's a world record for Joshua Chetagai, the Commonwealth champion. The world champion is the fastest man in history, over six and a quarter miles. And this is a night that will never be forgotten by any of us who were privileged enough to be here. He has shone like a star in the night sky of Spain. That was incredible. That was outstanding. I mean, the, the pressure and the expectation for Joshua to come here tonight, a whole day in the city of Valencia built around him and also on Letzenet Gide, you know, to have the two of them come here and deliver on what was named a world record day is outstanding. It's something that, you know, we all wanted it to happen. But we were fearful, you know, that it wouldn't. But to see it actually happen in front of our eyes is unbelievable. That is just, you know, solidifying his greatness over the past years, running the world championships, world record, world cross country champion. And he just made it look easy. He just got faster. I knew those last four laps, he was just gonna get faster and faster, but he did get tired going into the last lap, but he was able to carry it through and come home with a world record, a successful year like you couldn't have imagined with you know everything being cancelled. It is just outstanding. Uh, I'm absolutely speechless after tonight. <laughs> it, it was just, it was so emotional. There are people wearing their cameras out here. Everybody around the stadium standing, trying to get a glimpse of the man of the moment. There's a lovely embrace for Roy Huenweg who started the pacemaking so well. This was the last 400 metres. This was the run for destiny. Zatopek, Clark, Viren, Gabri Selassie, Turgat, Bekele, and now that list has added to it Joshua Cheptegei and surely Sonia O'Sullivan. There's only one thing left for him to do, and that is turn a world gold and a Commonwealth gold into Olympic gold. If we have an Olympic Games next year in Tokyo, what a race that will be between him and the defending champion, Sir Mo Farah. And you'd have to put him down as favourite after what we've seen here tonight and across this year. Not just one world record, not two, but three. What a year. Three races, three world records, no championships. There's a lot to look forward to when the Olympic Games eventually take place and hopefully they will next year. Oh, what a night. It's been such hard work for the organizers. There've been so many health and safety hoops to jump through, but they've done it. And Joshua is just about getting his breath back. He's heading over shortly to the former junior international high hurdler, Marlene Vink Rennings, who will very shortly have a word with him. Has he got enough breath back? I think he has. Joshua Chetagai getting in position on our socially distanced microphone. Let's hear from the man of the moment. Joshua, congratulations. This is an amazing performance. Can you tell us how you feel? Yeah. Uh, first of all, of course, you know, I wanted to leave the expectation of uh, Valencia, the theme which was Valencia World Record Day. So it feels really well to me that I fulfill my my dream. You have shown many amazing performances. What is this performance? What does it mean to you? I think uh, 
It means uh, something great to me. Uh, you know, we are trying to write history into the track again. People, uh, of course, we want to make people to know that the track is still exciting, and uh, we want to give it all. You know, and, and uh, so that uh, the sports lovers in the world can have uh, the benefit of the time by seeing us. You know. And what does it mean uh, in this year of COVID? You know, we live in a difficult situation now with COVID, but. Uh, this event can still give us joy, can still give us hope for tomorrow. Knowing that uh, we need to take precautions to defeat the virus, we need to be careful, we don't need to be reckless again, and uh, for sure the world will return back to normal. It will not be any soon because most of the people are not, fail, are not uh, following the precautions and the SOP. So we need to tell them again that we want to get back to normal, and the best way we can do that is uh, when all of us get concerned about uh, coming back to normal. You said in your press conference that you want to be the greatest. Does this bring you closer? I think this is just like uh, it lays a foundation of what can still happen and what I want to achieve in the years to come. Thank you very much, Joshua. And please celebrate tonight this beautiful world record. Thank you, fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you. What a talismanic figure he is turning out to be for this great sport of athletics, proudly taking the Ugandan flag. We can hardly believe, Sonia O'Sullivan and I, what we've seen tonight. We just can't stop smiling and laughing. It's been absolutely incredible. This Stadi Del Turia has borne witness here to not just one world record, but two. Unbelievable. The classic photos. 26-11 on the nose. That record had stood for 15 years to one of the greats. Well, he said he wants to become the top distance runner in history. Well, he's giving himself a chance. Well, Joshua was the second world record of the day. If you're just joining us, here's a recap of Gide's world record earlier.